Hey, what's going on out there, car modelers and styrene addicts and park goblins? Got a little uh, work done on the uh, Gremlin. I don't have my wheel back yet. I was expecting them today, but they didn't show up. Got some uh, detail done on the. Uh, I'm going to focus too well. I have the camera set on low resolution. My internet is. Uh, acting crappy. Uh, that's why I haven't been commenting on too many videos because it just simply won't let me. But I did get some paint on the uh, Gremlin. Worked pretty hard on the hood this past weekend. I know I said I was going to use the uh, stock hood but I just got to looking at it and I just didn't like it. I might go ahead and paint the stock hood up anyways but I don't know. It just stance is going to be slightly higher than it is now, so that I don't have any wheel backs. So this is what we got. But uh, yeah, check out the hood. It's my first scratch-built hood of any kind. Um, I also built. And uh, air cleaner. And I used this aluminum here. It's uh, I've used this one for uh, mixing epoxy. Kind of looks like a turtle. I like turtles, but uh, kind of use that to mix epoxy with. But I use that. It's uh, flashing from Home Depot. I don't know how much it cost. I've had that piece for, geez, I don't know how long. But for the uh, filter material, <clears throat> I use this from uh, the dollar store. When I say the dollar store, I mean Dollar General. Uh, but, uh, it's, they're felt pads that go on furniture and stuff. I bought them actually for my uh, computer out here so I could raise it up off the uh, workbench, get some airflow so I don't burn the PCU up. But uh, yeah, I was just looking at it thinking I can do that. And I did. Uh, another thing with that is, you know, looking at the hood and stuff, that how am I going to do that? Yeah, Mr. Mini Dreams done a uh, tutorial on that, and I basically followed it to the letter to build that hood. I haven't painted the interior yet. I'm still debating going with the olive green or a uh, pearl lime ice green on the interior, or I might mix them up, do a little bit of each. Uh, Speaking of hoods, I got this in the mail. I don't know if you guys remember my uh, old builds, which I'm still in the process of digging some stuff out. But I was looking for a uh, hood, and this was sent to me by someone very cool. I don't know if he wants to be mentioned or, or not, but I uh, thank you very much. Yeah, this is what I was looking for for my uh, 70 Chevelle, I think it is. Uh, it's awesome. I'll be able to get on that in a sh little while, shortly. I have several other kits I need to get done. Uh, like I said last time, my uh, next build, I was going to use the Kregers that came with this kit. But uh, they're going on a special build. My father passed away uh, June 1st. And I went with him to the dealership. And he bought a 1978 Ford truck. And I have a couple of those kits. The Firestone Superstones kit. I'm going to build a replica of his truck that... We went to the dealership and picked up brand new. 
and uh, pickup truck I currently have uh, I got it from him in uh, 2008 uh, he bought that new for my mother and when my mother passed he no longer really wanted the truck around so I took it and it's kind of cool it's got a I put steel wheels on it and got 56 Ford hubcaps on it it's, it's all white just a plain 1994 Ford truck but uh, I'm gonna build a replica of that and then I can start on some other builds but uh, yeah his 78 Ford had Craigers on it and that's what I got uh, Craigers from this that's what I'm gonna put on the stones kit uh, that ought to be pretty cool he uh, he really liked that truck man he we put a bunch of miles on it and by the time it was 10 years old it was wore out and wasn't any good anymore but uh, I appreciate you guys watching oh one more thing here's the uh, carpet for the uh, gremlin I got the uh, embossing powder I'm going to use for carpet Anyways, I appreciate you guys watching, and I hope everybody has a good day. Bye-bye.